we do it in the city, you know, we, we dabble here, we dabble there, see if this work, you know, I'm gonna sell some drugs, this don't work. You know, I'm gonna mess with the women, you know, that work, but uh, it ain't working for me <laughs> for the long term. Um, and, and then I found sports, and so sports is the thing that I think saved my life. It took me from, uh, like most of us, it took me from uh, a, a, a poverty way of thinking to a successful way of thinking. Uh, I had the privilege of going on and playing um, some small college ball, uh, which really changed my life, right? It took me to a whole nother level. After college, I, I then went to work in juvenile justice, to make a long story short. <clears throat> and during my, my, my work in juvenile justice, um, I struggled with this one thing. The young men that we were servicing, that were adjudicated, were coming to our programs, coming to our system, um, being rehabilitated, then going back home, and you know we're thinking that they're going to do good, they're going to do, you know, and then they recidivize, and they come back into the system. And so, man, brothers, that frustrated me like hell, right? Like that, that angered me to the point where I needed to do something different. And so um, I then said, what is it that I can do that can help our young brothers not struggle with returning back into the system? What's missing? And what I found was that they would be rehabilitated and they would change their way of thinking. Their mindset would shift, but then they would go back into the same environment. And when they went back into the same environment, their mindset would go back, right? Because they had to survive in the environments in which they came.